Hey everyone, I am Nathaniel Rumpel Jantz from Nintendo Prime, and I'm on camera. Let me know what you think about that. But beyond that, uh, today I want to talk about an interesting situation that happened with GameStop and ThinkGeek, and believe it or not, the NES Classic Edition. So at some point today, earlier today, after I made my initial video, the NES Classic Edition went up for order in bundles on thinkgeek.com and to be clear GameStop owns thinkgeek so full transparency GameStop and thinkgeek same company and the idea that it's being sold in the bundle isn't new I mean come on they've been selling Nintendo Switch bundles since like what a week after launch uh, and magically they always seem to find stock for those bundles but they can't seem to get stock of just a normal console especially online um, and even in stores they seem to be pushing the bundles but the reason I want to talk about this is that this some, something happened here that seems insane to me. How does ThinkGeek slash GameStop have NES Classic Editions in the end of July to sell when they went out of production like three, four months ago? I mean, this thing went out of production the month the Wii, oh, I'm sorry, the Wii U, the month the Nintendo Switch launched. It went out of production. How the heck does GameStop slash ThinkGeek have stock of this to even bundle in the first place? I, I understand why you would bundle it, but, but how do you even have the stock to do it? The only thing I could think of is that GameStop, the parent company, purposely held back stock of the NES Classic Edition to fulfill these orders and to create these bundles where they make more money than they would off selling the unit on its own. And we know that GameStop makes these bundles all the time. I just gave an example for Switch. They did it for Wii U. They did it for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and 3DS. They always do it for the hot button items at the time. But how can they even get away with this? Like, like is this going to be start becoming a regular practice with the SNES Classic coming out? Are retailers going to start holding back units that are sent to them, waiting for the unit to go out of production so they can bundle it together with other items and create a more expensive end product, but ultimately a more profitable endeavor for the company selling them? I mean, this is something that I almost feel like this is not the fault of Nintendo, but Nintendo almost needs to get on the phone with them and let them know this is not okay. You can't be holding back stock to resell or, or sell at a later date uh, when we don't make the, the item anymore. It's extremely anti-consumer. And you know, it's easy to make that argument for their Switch bundles as well. The caveat with the Switch bundles is that we know they're still releasing more Switches, and we know eventually you'll be able to get a hold of these Switches outside of those bundles, whereas the NES Classic Edition is done. I mean, they're not making it anymore. It is finito. I mean, maybe they'll bring it back again in 10 years. I don't know. But right now, they're not making any more of them. They're working on the SNES Classic Edition. And now we got to be scared that GameStop is going to do this. And it pains me to talk negatively about GameStop. And I've talked about this briefly in the past because my local GameStop stores, there's two of them. There's one uh, up in Eau Claire, or down in Eau Claire, and then there's one uh, closer to me in Halley. And they have pretty much excellent management and fairly good staff. Uh, I, I've... I don't think I've even had one, um, what I would call, negative consumer experience in those stores. Never felt like something was being pushed to me um, that shouldn't be, or, or, or felt bad about games being opened, or whatever the case may be. All the negative stories you hear out there about GameStop, I haven't experienced those at my local stores. I have experienced them at the Store Mall of America over in Minnesota, but I, I personally haven't experienced it. So it pains me when these negative stories come up. But just because I like the employees, just like I like some of the staff at Nintendo, and I like some of Nintendo's products, doesn't mean that I'm not going to point out issues when they arise. And this is an issue, and this issue directly affects Nintendo fans. And it's... It's pretty much BS. It's bullshit that they held back units to sell in these more expensive bundles months after the device is no longer being made. Now, it would be different if these were uh, being advertised as resales. Like, if people sold them back, their NES Classics, for cash or whatever the case may be, and they're reselling them as a used or refurbished product, that's different. GameStop, at that point, could do whatever they want with the product. Just like a pawn shop can do whatever it wants with it. Just like if my buddy, if I sold an NES Classic to my buddy, he could do whatever he wants with it. But this here, we're talking about, we're talking about brand new units. They're being advertised as brand new, not, not refreshes, not refurbished, not used, brand new copies of the, man... 
Oh, I can't believe, and the thing is, they're going to get away with it, at least this time. Maybe Nintendo will get on the phone and, shame on you, you shouldn't do that. But ultimately, Nintendo got their money for the units anyways, so Nintendo's probably not going to do anything about it. Uh, this is just, oh. See, I like making videos where I'm happy, right? I, I like to talk about how amazing the Switch is and how great Splatoon 2 is and uh, how excited I am, you know, for Super Mario Odyssey. I, I, I want to talk positives, but man, when BS happens, I have to call it out. I mean, do you think GameStop here is in the right that they have the right to do this? They obviously legally have the right because they're going to get away with it, but... Do you think that they have the right to do this? Do you think it's anti-consumer? And I know a lot of you are probably going to be like, oh, F GameStop and picketing. And I understand that. I totally understand that. No one should be blindly loyal to a giant corporate entity. And that includes us with Nintendo. We should not be blindly loyal to Nintendo as a company. Uh, they exist to make money. They are a billion-dollar company. Uh, they didn't get to that billion dollars by not making money. Nintendo's about making money above everything else. I know they make you think that they put things ahead of that, but ultimately they are a business. It is about making money, uh, and everything else goes to support the idea of making money. So they're going to make dumb decisions like the voice chat on phones. It happens. They're doing it for business reasons that I try to understand, at least, even if I disagree with them. But, uh, yeah, that's... Man, GameStop is really just oh, frustrating me. And the sad thing is, I know that the Xbox One X is going to have pre-orders going up soon. Uh, I've gotten some emails about it, and I want to pre-order one. But I would normally would pre-order it at GameStop, because that's my local game store. Uh, I'm almost tempted to do it at Walmart now. I have a 24-hour Walmart, so I could still pick it up at midnight. But, uh, you know, it's not like Walmart's perfect either. They do a whole bunch of shady stuff behind the scenes as well to keep their prices down. Um, child labor issues over in third world countries that... Uh, it's really hard to accept. And, and in general, electronics in general has issues with, you know, child labor and unfair wages and slavery and all that stuff, blood diamonds. There, there's a lot of issues in the electronics field with where our products are coming from, the parts inside it, the metals and, and all that stuff. But, uh, man, I'm just, I'm not happy. Let, let's just put it that way. I'm, I'm not pleased about this. No, I did not pick up one of these bundles. Yes, I had a chance to get it, and it would have been my chance to get an NES Classic Edition. And I'm not trying to act like a spoiled brat. Like, who cares that I don't have the NES Classic Edition? At the end of the day, it doesn't affect your life. It only affects mine. And it affects my life, like, like so little that it doesn't matter. But either way, this is really shady. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say on this one. Anyways, folks, my name is Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike that video, hit that dislike button. Subscribe for more. And as always, folks, I will catch you in the next one.